Today I'm back with a brand new TV stuff review. We're going to be taking a look at the Arctic Air Freedom. This is a wearable cooler and air purifier. So I will say it's not as light as I thought it would be just with the way that the box described it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right back around my neck. Okay, and I actually have sensitive ears. But yeah, and what if I turn it on the other way so it's not blowing up at my face but rather down on my body. So let's flip it around. Rather refreshing sitting out here in the heat. Not sure, there you go. You can see my hair glowing a little bit there with the breeze. And so if I was hiking and did not have the shirt on and it was more directly there on my skin and that bone, that would get somewhat bothersome. And now let's stand up. Let's jump around and see if it falls off, if it just kind of slides a little bit or if it stays put. All right, so I am just opening up the Arctic Air Freedom. Slides right on out of there. There we go. That down. So you have the little information packet right there taped on nicely to the front. You have that USB cable and then the device itself is fit nice and snug here in this little box. Go ahead and just pull it out to see if it's light, if it's heavy. So I will say it's not as light as I thought it would be just with the way that the box described it. I thought it would be a little bit lighter. This seems like it might be a little uncomfortable around my neck for long periods of time, especially if I were to wear this for six hours. I imagine that would just start to hurt hanging there on my neck. But just put it on for a second. Move my hair so it kind of expands right there. You can see that that's that adjustable neck so I can fully close it. I can have it open a little bit there. I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, if I was just kind of sitting and hanging out, maybe laying out by the pool, maybe this wouldn't be terrible or a quick walk down to the mailbox. Okay. So we saw that it has the vents right there. The purifier is going to be this right here on that inside part. We can see that it's a little bit softer. So this is kind of like a soft rubber, whereas this part is a hard plastic. This is different right there in the middle. Kind of twists just a little bit there. You see the air intake on either side and then also that power button right there. Oh, and it's already charged. I was thinking that I would have to plug it in and charge it. I was about to say, let me charge it and I'll come right back. But so it turned right on. I'm going to go ahead and put it right back around my neck. Okay. So I will say that it feels nice, but I'm not one that likes <laughs> the air or the wind blowing directly in my face and like I can just feel it right here mainly and I actually have sensitive ears so when I'm hiking especially if it's a windy day I have something in or over my ears so I can already tell you right now I don't like the fact that this is like blowing the air directly into my ears that's not going to be good for me long term but I mean you can see it blowing my hair if I kind of bring my hair over it a bit right there. Lighter pieces. You can see that it is kind of flowing there in that breeze. And then because there's only the one button, I'm assuming we can push it multiple times to increase the speeds. Oh, so that was probably the highest one because it went down lower. You can kind of see my hair's like flopping right there, or this guy <laughs> up here. Okay, and that's low. So low is really quiet, 
I can still feel it on my face, but not how I could a moment ago with it on high. So I definitely like the lower speed a lot more than I did with it all the way up. And then hitting it one more time just kind of turns it off. Okay, so not bad, not bad. A little bit bulky and it'd be nice if this was just more comfortable. I'm not quite sure how you would accomplish that. Um, but yeah, and what if I turn it on the other way so it's not blowing up at my face, but rather down on my body. So let's flip it around. Move my hair one more time. Adjust it accordingly right there. Find that button, there we go. So this is high. And I'll even take off this top shirt. So I don't know. Okay, now I can feel it. But because it is like right up against my collarbone, right here and like hovering directly over my chest. A lot of it is touching my skin. So maybe it's meant to be worn the other way. I can still feel it, but not how I could when it was on high pointed the other way and then taking it down to medium. High is definitely a little noisy. I mean, this is literally right next to your ears and you have that like humming from that fan in there and then low. I might be able to hang out with it on low for a short period of time, but I can tell you right now, there is no way I would wear this for, you know, a couple of hours and have it blasting on high, even if I was in, you know, a group and we were talking and conversing or anything like that. It is just a little bothersome there. So let's go ahead, turn it off. And now I want to take it outside. I could noticeably feel the air on my face, especially when it was on high and I was wearing it this way. So I want to see if it's just as noticeable and as cool and refreshing if I'm outside where it's a little bit warmer. I keep my house at about 77 here during the day. So it's comfortable in the house. This isn't necessary, needed or required. So I'm gonna pop outside, try it out out there. And of course, take y'all along to tell you all about it. All right, y'all. So I came outside here so we can try this Arctic Air Freedom in this Arizona sun. So I'm going to go ahead, make sure that these vents are pointed upward as I whack myself on the head. Put it around my neck. I am that power button over here. Go ahead and turn that on. So still probably the same temperature as it felt inside. It is cooler and it is rather refreshing sitting out here in the heat. Not sure, there you go. You can see my hair glowing a little bit there with the breeze that it's putting out. And this is the high setting Go ahead and take it down to medium. Hair moves a little bit less, but you can still see it and feel it there. And then on low. I will say that I can't really feel the low setting. I can hear it, but I cannot feel any of the wind or the breeze that it is putting out. Oh, unless I put my head down like this, I can feel it on the sides of my cheek. But up like this, I really don't feel too much, at least not out here in the sun and in the heat. But I can move my head and my neck just fine. So it's not terrible. You notice that it kind of slides a little bit there. But again, not horrible. Could I wear this for several hours if I was out hiking or something? Probably not. <laughs> probably end up taking it off. It is a little bit bulky and more than anything, I personally feel it digging into my collarbone. So if I was hiking and did not have the shirt on and it was more directly there on my skin and that bone, that would get somewhat bothersome. So go ahead, turn it off. And now let's stand up. Let's jump around and see if it falls off, if it just kind of slides a little bit or if it stays put. Okay, now here outside, I'm going to go ahead, turn it back on high, since I feel it the most out here in this Arizona sun. And then I'm just gonna hop around a little bit and see if it moves and really how it feels.
so it does not pass the jump test because this comes slamming down on my collarbone each time. So I will say maybe you could use it if you're sitting there gardening, working on the computer, or maybe taking a light walk, but I would not wear it if you're running, working out, or doing a lot of movement. All right, back inside and out of that hot Arizona heat and ready to give you my final thoughts on the Arctic Air Freedom. I would give this product two out of five stars and here's why. I think it's a cool idea, right? A neat concept to be able to have this wearable cooler, lasts up to six hours, and I loved the fact that it wasn't just cooling but also purifying that air that it was putting out as well. However, I did not like the design. I thought it was rather big, bulky, a little heavy to wear there around your neck. Sure, I could move my head and neck around just fine, but it did not go over well <laughs> with some major movement. Y'all saw what happened when I started jumping around. It was just slamming down on my collarbone. Not very comfortable there. Also didn't like the fact that it was a little noisy. I could also feel the vibration from that fan there inside. And I didn't like that it blew that air right up to my ears. I personally have sensitive ears and so that wouldn't go over well for me. So I give the Arctic Air Freedom two out of five stars, but would love to hear how y'all keep cool during those hot summer months. Would this be something that would interest you? Do you just get an extra fan, lower the AC in the house, or maybe one of those cooling neck towels? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and until next time, bye y'all.